Hey guys, so I'm boiling the water and boiling up some pasta for tuna casserole. It was only a dollar. It's Clover Valley brand. I bought it at Dollar General Store. I can't beat it for a dollar. They had angel hair, but I like to use regular spaghetti sometimes for this recipe, so I just went for it. So the pasta is done. I'm adding in um, a can of Healthy Choice Cream of Mushroom Soup. I'm actually going to add in two of these and at least one can of milk, if not more. Okay, I'm going to pour two cans, because I put two cans of cream of mushroom, so two cans of milk. Also, another addition to this is some baby Bella mushrooms, if you can get some. Really nice addition to this. I got some Always Save Sweet Peas from the food pantry. I'm going to put in at least half of a can. Maybe a little more. Okay, guys, so I drained the tuna, put three cans of tuna drained in. I'm going to add a little, I'm still going to add onion, but I'm going to add some of the seasoning. I'm adding, I like black pepper. I like black pepper in mine. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Okay, you know I like my garlic powder. And I'm gonna add a little salt. Not too, too much, but just some salt. Okay, we're putting in the onions. I chopped up some onion to put in this. It's This is the classic way that I pretty much make this dish. I've been making it since I was a kid. My mom made it when I was a kid occasionally, and when she did, it was the favoritest thing ever. Next we have some Clover Valley sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to throw in this, the whole bag, the whole eight ounces. And I'm basically just stirring the mixture up, you guys, until it's nice and combined completely. And the oven's, if I didn't say already, the oven is preheated at three 75 and being that I made so much it's going to take a bit of time I'm going to say 30 minutes for mine because it's so much at least 30 minutes usually they want a smaller pan maybe 20 minutes this is a big old bunch though so yes we got to get that cheese mixed in evenly if you know what I mean now that I got all the mixture evenly combined, I'm going to put some slices of the Clover Valley sharp cheddar cheese all over the top and cover it up. Here she goes. The more the better on top of this, in my opinion. The more you have of cheese, put that thick layer if you like cheese for cheese lovers. It tastes so good on this. And you can use any kind of cheese you want, you know, for this. But, I mean, like provolone, you could change the type of cheese and you can just use what you want to use to your liking, you know? That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Trying to get it. It'll all melt anyway, but there we go. I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to cook it for at least 20 minutes, maybe a little longer, and then stick 
some potato chips on, some potato chips on at the very last, you know, five minutes or so. So the cheese is nice and melty and this is what it should look like when it's nice and melty. I'm gonna add some potato chips to this topping and then stick it back in to brown. Uh, by the way, I got, of course, I've got some Clover Valley Ripple Cut. You could choose whatever kind you want, but some Ripple Cut potato chips from Clover Valley from Dollar General tonight. Then I'm going to cr crunch up some of these and stick right on top of this casserole. I have a kitty. Yep, I got a kitty down here in the floor going, wow. Oh, yes. Just crunching them up and throwing them on top. This is tradition where I come from. So. This is the traditional way to make this. And it's cheap eats, but it's good eats. basically covering the whole entire top of this thing with the crunched up chips. All right, you guys, I'm going to stick this back in the oven. And it's hot and bubbling. And yes, I baked it in this, <laughs> in my ceramic crock pot dish in the oven, but that's what I do sometimes. I use what I got. You guys, it looks amazingly just like it should. You can toast it as brown as you want, but I just brown mine a little. Until, and it's all bubbly, you know. But yes, it's looking good when it's all brown and bubbled up like that.